Of course, one of the big buzzworthy news items this week comes via the dirt sheets, in particular Dave Meltzer, referencing the fact that sometime soon, as soon as maybe the next television season next year, the WWE will be looking to change their product from being PG to TV-14. And look, I get it. I understand it. That PG label has come to represent so many things of what you feel is wrong with the WWE today. For the majority of you watching this video, you are males over the age of 18. You resent the fact that you feel the WWE has taken their product in a direction that is not meant to appeal to you, as if you do not care. They are targeting kids and families when many of you yourself do not have kids or families. You feel like you are the biggest portion of their fan base, adult males 18 and older, and as a result, you resent the fact that that company is going out of their way to not want to bother appealing to you. And the only time they do it is when it's incredibly convenient. You view that PG label as representing so many things that are wrong with the current product today. John Cena being the face of the PG era. You hate John Cena, therefore you hate that PG label. You see the fact that there is no blood in the product, especially when it comes to serious bloodbath brawls like TLCs, Hell in a Cell, Steel Cage matches, other hardcore matches, and you feel that it affects the believability of the product, and therefore, as a result, you go on to blame the PG product. You blame that PG label. You feel in a lot of ways that PG label also represents the increased corporatization of the WWE and the fact that they want to keep everything kind of the same as is so often the case in corporate America. You also believe that with that PG label comes a bit of contentness and a bit of laziness and therefore has helped kind of shift the creative focuses and the philosophies of the WWE from a growth model to a sustain and hold on tight model. A lot of you tie in that PG model with the fact that they are a publicly traded company. When it comes to that PG label, that PG product, so many of you have addressed so many blames and so many ills to that PG label. And look, I get it. I understand it. You look at that company being PG as a sign that Vince McMahon and his company is increasingly out of touch with reality and especially out of touch with you as professional wrestling fans. You view it as another way to try and shift that company away from what it really is fundamentally a professional wrestling company to more and more fit the personality and suit what Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn in particular have always envisioned it to be sports entertainment. They're movie makers. PG represents so many bad things, you know, pure garbage, if you will, for a lot of you when it comes to the WWE. And I understand the excitement about the thought of WWE going away from the PG rating and getting back to TV-14. You know, how can a company that is fundamentally built on the basis of violence and lots of it ever hope to be kid and family friendly? There seems to be something fundamentally wrong with this. When as a company, they are still worried about the most males in the 18 to 34 or 39 demographic when it comes to the advertisers when dealing with the television networks like USA and Sci-Fi, why would they be going out of their way to insult your intelligence to not market or cater to you and not even worry about you, but yet they need you so badly when it comes to selling ad spots during their weekly programming? I, I get all of this, and I understand that you think PG era goes away, you're going to get more sexuality, you're going to get more blood, you're going to get more violence, you're going to cut out the kitty crap, and you're going to do this, and they're going to do that. And the fact of the matter is, that PG rating at the end of the day doesn't mean two hella fucking beans, and you damn good and well know it. And furthermore, the change to TV-14 in no way, shape, or form is an indication of anything positive whatsoever. And in fact, if I want to look deeply enough at it, I could sit there and see some real negative connotations or ramifications because of it. Look, the company changing a television rating for PG to TV-14 ain't changing shit. Accept it. I understand the hope. I understand the belief. I understand the desire to want it to represent so much more. I get it. You don't think I don't feel that way too? But let's not be fucking numbskulls about this. It ain't changing shit. 
A PG rating, even though this product today is more G rated than anything else, in no way, shape, or form should necessarily be an encumbrance to putting on good quality television and good professional wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever the fuck television you possibly can. For fans of my generation, we grew up watching PG television that was more traditional PG than this current PG crap, but we saw good PG television. Even for those of you that came up a few years after me that grew up during the Monday Night Wars Attitude Era period. You look at WCW at that time, I believe for the most part, when they were on the Turner system, they were still PG. They could be edgy, they could be compelling, they could be entertaining, and they could still fit into that whole PG mindset. The PG rating has nothing to do with the ability to write a good show, the ability to tell a good story, the ability to develop new characters. It doesn't impact any of fuck of that. All you're looking at that PG rating as is an escape goat and an excuse and a very poor, sorry-ass one at that. That PG rating doesn't change the fact that you have a creative team that isn't all that creative, led by a bunch of numbskulls like Michael P.S. Hayes, Kevin Dunn, and Vincent K. McMahon. Does that TV-14 rating mean that Kevin Dunn, Michael P.S. Hayes, and Vince McMahon won't be in charge heavily in the creative processes of WWE? No! Is all of a sudden the PG rating going to TV-14 going to make things dramatically better? No! Is it going to get them all of a sudden to have some long-term vision in their booking when they are still a publicly traded entity and as a result are only concerned about their bottom line each month and the quarter and what they deliver in terms of a dividend to their shareholders? No! Is it going to sit there and all of a sudden get Vince to wake up at almost 70 years of fucking age and be like, hey, you know what? I'm a fucking idiot. I'm senile and out of touch. Let me step aside and let Triple H do this because he's so much better. No! Are they going to sit there and actually stop emphasizing guys like Cena, Orton, and Triple H for the sake of the next generation so that way there is a future for the WWE? No! This naiveness of thinking that once the PG rating would go away, that all of a sudden they de-emphasize Cena is fucking ridiculous. What the hell makes you think that? They'd still have him be the clowny, corny goof in a TV-14 era. I don't see why people are so excited about this other than the belief and the desire and the want and the yearn for this to somehow magically be the pixie dust that makes everything better and sweeps away all the WWE's fucking problems. Well, newsflash, it doesn't. And if you think it does, ding dong dum dicks, you're sadly mistaken. I almost wish this news wouldn't have got out. And I almost wish we wouldn't even talk about it anymore. Because it's counterproductive and it doesn't help anything. You can talk about the PG rating of this. And you know what it represents to me? The fact that they're even entertaining the thought that they want to change from PG to TV-14 is it's in the middle that Vince McMahon is clearly out of fucking charge. The reason that they went to that PG rating to get higher-end advertisers and more family-friend advertisers blew up in their fucking face. They got a lackluster-ass television deal. And the fact is that kids and families aren't subscribing to their precious WWE fucking network. So now they're going to come on their hands and knees begging, bitching, and moaning, and pleading for you, the males 18 and over. Sorry, ladies, but that's the primary demographic, at least listening to, watching to this channel and watching the product as a whole. They're going to come crawling and screaming to you, begging for you. We're changing. It's TV 14. This is different. This is just like the attitude there. Go subscribe to that network for $9.99. Well, I hope when this all comes to pass, that yeah, you aren't knuckleheads and you're smart enough to see right through this sanctimonious bullshit. The only thing that changes is it goes from PG to TV 14. Pretty much every goddamn other thing else stays the exact same with this company and their lousy ass product. And furthermore, if anything, is only a knee-jerk panic reaction in caused in large part due to the crappy, disappointing, under-delivering, unrealistically bad <laughs> television deal that they got and the underperformance of their crappy fucking WWE Network. That's all this is. They're not doing it to improve the product. They're not doing it because they care about you. They're doing it because they know they fucked up. They know what the hell they... They don't know what the hell they're doing. And they don't know how to fix it. You know it's bad if it's getting to this point. Where after so many years of telling us you had to do PG, you had to do PG. Now they're actually entertaining the thought of going back to TV 14.
How about writing good shows? How about telling stories on your shows? How about giving us feuds and rivalries that fucking matter? How about sitting there and giving us a three-hour show that more weeks than not isn't a fucking snooze fest and isn't an incredible tour and bored to freaking get through? All of a sudden, they go to TV 14 and all that shit changes. We just won't have random matches all throughout the freaking show. We just won't have two or three storylines to carry us into each and every single pay-per-view. Magically, all of a sudden, they're going to want to develop new characters and go in a different direction. Ah, oh, get the fuck out of here. The more shit changes with this company, the more shit stays exactly the same. And if you naively believe that this in any way, shape, or form represents any seismic tectonic plate shift in the WWE and their business philosophies, well, I got news for you. You are sadly fucking mistaken. Deal with it. Learn from it. And understand, shit ain't getting better anytime soon until Vince McMahon goes away and there becomes a whole seismic shift in the organizational structure from a creative standpoint and a change in the philosophy of who they want to appeal to, how, where, when, and why, and what they're going to do to get there. Until that, you can talk about ratings until you're in the face. You can sit there and say, well, now you got to go to TVMA. That'll be even better. Uh, let's go to NC-17. Let's go to TV Dick. Where all it is is a bunch of girls slobbing up on knobs. Let's go to TVL for lesbian. And it's lesbians getting it on for three hours. I ain't going to fix shit. Just give you a couple of weak spank bank jobs and that's about it. Please don't get sucked in by this talk. Please don't get excited about this talk. If anything, it represents just how out of touch the WWE is with reality.